Now, I don't think it's a secret. Microsoft takes security very, very seriously. And a lot of people don't know what Azure does and what links Azure goes to in order to secure your information. But I'm here to go through with you the best practices for Microsoft Azure as far as security is concerned. Hi, my name is Omar. Welcome to Microsoft Dev Radio. This is one of the best platforms to go to when finding out any and everything Azure, Microsoft, and anything new relating the environment as far as technology is concerned. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and click the link down below to enjoy the Microsoft Engagement Hub. I want to go through with you the best security practices and patterns when deploying, developing, and managing your cloud solutions when using Microsoft Azure. Now, heads up, this is a very in-depth topic, and I'm not gonna be able to go through all of it in this one single YouTube video. So down below, I've attached this link to an article, which I'll be referencing, that can get you more into the depths of what Microsoft Azure can do and provide as far as security goes. We're only gonna cover about three of those things. Those include Azure Identity Management and Access Control, securing your Internet of Things solutions, and we're gonna be talking about Azure databases and securing those. Again, you'll be able to find all three of those those things in the documentation that's linked below that'll give you a more in-depth explanation and breakdown as to what we're discussing here today. Now, when it comes to Azure Identity and Management Access, you want to treat identity as the primary security perimeter. We talked about here on this channel how Azure is making everyone do a multi-factor authentication in order to access the Microsoft Azure platform. First things first, we got to start off with Microsoft Intra ID. Microsoft Intra ID is a multi-tenant cloud-based directory and identity management service from Microsoft. It combines core directory services, application access management, and identity protection into a single solution. What that basically means is if you want to manage your applications and you want to know who does what and why they do it, this is where you need to start. One thing that we like to stress for those that are looking at a more hybrid model is that they centralize identity management. That means you integrate your on-premise and your cloud directories together so they're in one central location. This allows your IT teams to manage your accounts in one location and integration also helps your users be more productive by providing a common identity for accessing both cloud and on-premise resources. And then last but certainly not least, you wanna enforce multi-factor authentication. Now, Microsoft Azure is already gonna take care of that. We talked about that on a video before on this platform, but slowly rolling out in July and in the coming months, Microsoft is gonna have all Azure users enable multi-factor authentication on their device. And there's tons of ways in which you can enable it, tons of different methods, but you're going to have to have it no matter what. Now, let's talk about securing your Internet of Things solutions. This can be a pretty complex topic, but I wanna start off by talking about Microsoft Defender. Microsoft Defender for Internet of Things periodically analyzes the security state of your Azure resources to identify potential security vulnerabilities. It then provides you with recommendations on how to address them. Think of this as your own personal security audit. They're making sure that everything Internet of Things is secure, safe, and secure. I know I said secure twice, but that's how secure they want you to be. We're talking about things like device security, connection security, and cloud security. A lot of people don't understand that if in any of these areas something fails, then that could be detrimental to your entire environment. So making sure that you have Microsoft Defender for your Internet of Things setup is very key to securing your entire Microsoft Azure environment. And the last thing I wanna talk about is your Azure databases and some of the best security practices for those. Now, of course it seems repetitive, but this is very important. For your Azure databases, you're gonna to wanna to set up Intra. That way you can set up some form of authentication for your databases. Through that, you can have your central management for your identities. From there, you can assign access to resources to Microsoft Intra via group assignments. When you're using Microsoft Intra group assignments, this is gonna take care of all of the management protocols that you need for your environment, specifically your databases in this instance. You can set certain groups to be admins who can have total access and control to who can do certain things on these certain databases, or you can set people to viewers who can just view whatever's on the database itself. This ensures that all your data is safe and secure, and if there are any changes or any things that are done to your database, you can always go back to see who had access to what and then contact them and figure out why things happened. And of course, all that is gonna be secure with another layer of multi-factor authentication, correct? Look, I could spend hours on security. It's really one of the backbones and most important parts of what Microsoft Azure has to offer as your cloud-based provider. But to learn more, click on the link in the description to the article that we used as a companion piece for this video and make sure you sign up for Microsoft Engagement Hub. There you'll be able to join a community that'll give you tips, tricks, code tutorials, and much more information on the things that we talk about on this channel. Thank you.